Alright. Oh. The History Channel teases the new American version of Top Gear. We'll tell you what we think. Also, Saab sets up for return to the World Rally Championship, and news from Subaru on their version of the FT86 Coupe. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. You're watching Fastlane Daily, a show that didn't win a Teen Choice Award last night. Welcome. Last year, NBC shot a pilot episode of the American version of the famous UK motor show Top Gear with Tanner Faust, Adam Carolla, and Eric Stromer. Well, NBC pulled the plug on the Top Gear pilot after concerns that the show just wouldn't work here in the US. There were also concerns that advertisers would run far, far away. In the UK, Top Gear is funded by the taxpayers, so the show goes uninterrupted for an hour. In the US, with car manufacturers advertising on every major network, Top Gear America was considered a liability. Well, now under the guidance of BBC America, the show is heading to the History Channel, for those of you who've been living under a rock. Well, they recently just released this trailer. Play it. Feels like this car is determined to kill me. Man, I think the front end left the ground. This is awesome. 167 miles an hour in a four-door. Now, we saw this trailer, and me personally, I thought it looked pretty good. Although I'm kind of bitter that Adam Ferrara got the gig and not me. But anyway, JF was actually shocked at the production value. It's there. And at first glance, the personalities click. I think we can collectively say that it looks like this is going to work. Right, guys? Yeah. But, 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 time will only tell. So make sure you watch Road Testament this Thursday as Alex and JF discuss the production value of Top Gear UK because their opinion is what counts. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I think Autosport.com is reporting today that Saab may be returning to the World Rally Championship by 2012. It was 1979, the last time Saab raced professionally as a manufacturer within the WRC. But now with new owner Spiker at the helm instead of the American General Motors, the news sounds promising. It was only last week that BMW announced they would return to WRC by next year with their four-door Countryman. Saab's new 9.2 is reported to be based off the next generation Mini Cooper platform with the same WRC legal 1.6 liter turbocharged engine out of the Countryman. All the pieces of the puzzle are coming together. The 9.2 as a small entry level Saab would make a perfect platform for rally. According to Autosport sources, Saab and Spiker will be meeting with WRC and FIA officials at the Rally of France in October to finalize the entry. And apparently when news hit that Saab may be returning to WRC, Steven Slater, a flight attendant on JetBlue, got so excited Right after his plane landed at JFK, he grabbed a few beers, threw open the emergency hatch, deployed the slide, jumped down, and sped home to check if it was true and have sex with <laughs> Reportedly. He was later arrested, but we salute you, Stephen. And in today's internet rumor mill, Motor Trend has news on the upcoming Subaru version of the Toyota FT86, the joint project between the two Japanese manufacturers. According to Motor Trend's sources, the Subaru version of the sports coupe will be based off the next generation legacy platform, but with the Impreza rear suspension. The result will be a balanced and comfortable chassis that doesn't get too cushy while in tight twisty turns. <laughs> tight twisty turns. Toyota's FT86 will feature a 2 liter naturally aspirated boxer motor that pushes an ample 200 horsepower, while there are reports that the Subaru version could be pushing 260 horsepower with a 2 liter turbo. We have no idea what the Subaru Coupe will look like, but we're going to have to wait until 2013 when the car is expected to go on sale. Pricing, you ask? Sub 30,000 large. All right. Well, that's about it for Fastlane Daily today. I'll talk to all you guys tomorrow, and real men can wear pink. I specifically wore this for all you haters out there. Haters gonna hate, and winners wear pink. Bye now. Wait, hold on, hold on. Before the haters hate. Oh, Derek D, you're a douchebag. Oh, Derek, you're gay. Oh, blah, blah. <laughs> nah, you can just cut that. <laughs> what else did they say? I'll take one, keep it. Oh, kill yourself. Uh, Derek, I wish cancer. You wish you get cancer. That was a good one. <laughs> Platform with the same WRC legal 1.6 liter turbocharged engine out of the mini country mim. The pieces of the puzzle are coming together. <laughs> <laughs> Sal's new 9-2 is reporting.